Good morning everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets. I really appreciate your time. I'm gonna start a new series today to show that each state has its problems. This is just the statistical bad stuff. All these states have beautiful areas that are very, very safe, but for sake of the argument, I figured I'd start with my own state, the 10 most dangerous places in Massachusetts. Uh, so this is based off of statistics. Uh, you can find those on the FBI's UCR website. I'll put a link down below if you want. These are all reported violent crimes. These numbers are always higher because not every crime gets reported. This is cold hard evidence of why you should be armed, why you need the right and the tools to defend yourself. So let's get going. Number 10, Lynn, Massachusetts. Now at first glance, Lynn looks pretty safe, um, but it does have a reputation of, of crime. Uh, there were two murders in Lynn in 2013, which, you know, for a city or for a large community isn't bad. But add to that, there were 39 rapes, 189 robberies, and 584 aggravated assaults. For those who aren't privy to mass law or understand the spiderweb of legal jargon that is present in every state, an aggravated assault here in Massachusetts, just for the, for the sake of the video, is a very serious assault, not a simple assault, it's an aggravated assault, something where there's an, some type of enumerator that makes it much worse, much, much worse. Number nine, my hometown, Worcester. Worcester's a pretty big city. In fact, it's the second largest city in all of New England. So all six states, this is the second largest city with Boston being the first, with over 183,000 residents in Worcester. In 2013, there were 1,750, 1,750 reported violent crime. Worcester also had nine murders and 22 rapes. Combine that with 483 robberies and 1,236 aggravated assaults. You got to be careful where you go. And all cities have good spots too. And this is just to make a point of why you need to defend yourself and have the ability to have the tool to do that. Now number eight will make you scratch your head. North Adams, Massachusetts. It's a little town out in the northwest corner of the state. And they only have about 13,500 people that live there. But in 2013, there were two murders and 21 rapes, eight robberies, and 103 aggravated assaults. There's only 13,500 people there. You add in 175 reported burglaries, and the crime stats are pretty high for that town. Number seven is Lawrence. Unfortunately for Lawrence, they have the highest high school dropout rate with four out of every 10 students dropping out. Now that may or may not be a factor, but there were 776 reported violent crimes for 2013 with 473 aggravated assaults. Number six, Fall River. Fall River is beautiful. A lot of nice scenery in Fall River, a nice place to visit. But you need to defend yourself there too because there were 73 rapes and 225 robberies for 2013. There were also 646 reported aggravated assaults. Gotta be careful at night no matter where you are in the country. Now number five, Springfield. Now Springfield has a lower assault rate but a higher murder rate than some of the ones here on the list. The odds of you being a victim of a violent crime in Springfield are 1 in 21. And there were also 22 murders in Springfield. Number four, New Bedford. New Bedford had 1,039 reported violent crimes for 2013. Now there's only 365 days in a year, so do the math. In those numbers were six murders, 100 rapes, 256 robberies, and 677 violent assaults. Pretty serious. There were also 20 arsons, reported arsons, which is a lot higher than anywhere else in that area. Brockton, the city of champions. Your chances of being a victim of violent crime in Brockton are three in 250. There are nine murders, 87 rapes, and 838 violent assaults. Number two, Chelsea, the smallest city in the state of Massachusetts, but it's also one of the most dangerous, statistically speaking. You have a one in 18 chance of being a victim of a violent crime in Chelsea, Massachusetts. And if you factor in the whole city is 2.5 miles squared, 250 aggravated assaults in Chelsea, the number one municipality in Massachusetts across the board, statistically speaking, as far as violent crime, is Holyoke. In Holyoke, you have a 1 in 15 chance of being a victim of a violent crime, also a 1 in 100 chance of being attacked, raped, or killed. Now, those are all statistics that I don't want to risk. I hope this helps you see that violence is there in every city and town and if you know this state, some of those might even be surprising to you. So there you go. I hope this helps you see that uh, you actually do need to protect yourself. This is Jared from Guns and Gadgets. Until the next one, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a weapon. Take care.